Arma 3 is not a shooter. Any fan of Arma and Arma 2 could have told you that, but in case you have any misconceptions, they should be cleared up right off the bat. Arma 3, like its predecessors, is a war simulator, an ambitious, open-world recreation of war on land, in the air, and now, under the sea. Today, March 5th, people that pre-ordered Arma 3 will have the chance to play the Alpha for themselves. Let's take a look at the four demos included and find out a little about what the upcoming sequel has in store. Arma 3 streamlines a few things in its controls and tightens up some of its audio issues in comparison to Arma 2. For instance, inventory is easier to manage and radio chatter sounds somewhat fluid now as opposed to the mess it was before. But if you were worried that Bohemia Interactive would turn Arma 3 into a mainstream action game, let's be clear. This alpha is not for the faint of heart. That is abundantly clear in the helicopter-based demo in which you transport troops in your chopper, take down artillery, rearm, and land multiple times. This isn't quite a flight sim, but it is no arcade shooter either. You must be conscious of the physics of helicopter flight and use your auto hover wisely. The AI doesn't care if you're a novice. Neither does the cold, hard ground, for that matter. Patience is a virtue, and you must exercise it if you want to sustain the kind of nuanced control the helicopter requires. In fact, patience is necessary in every aspect of the Arma 3 Alpha. The first minutes of the scuba demo has you swimming from one waypoint to the next, disarming floating mines while avoiding the prying eyes of both an overhead helicopter pilot and a nearby patrol boat. Things get a lot tougher when you emerge from the sea and face a base swarming with gunners. It's best to distract them by calling in an artillery strike, grab a missile launcher, and hightail it out of there so that you can bring down that pesky helicopter. Flash out! Even so, you must be always conscious of your surroundings. One false move, and you're shot down by a foe you may not have even seen. Go prone when you need to, take cover and lean out if necessary, and remember that there is no shame in running away and finding a different path of approach. Vehicle and infantry portions require careful movement and positioning too. No surprise, of course, given the series' pedigree. It's important to note, however, that Arma 3's challenge is hardly insurmountable. If you come expecting to spray bullets and absorb damage only for your health to regenerate on its own, well, this isn't the series for you. But if you want a game that makes you feel like every step you take is a possible step closer to your violent end, then the Arma 3 Alpha gives you a taste of exactly that. It also gives you a taste of what might be one of the most photorealistic games yet created, at least in terms of environmental design. Even at this early alpha stage, there's a remarkable amount of detail in this graphics engine and without the blurry effects that sometimes intruded on Arma 2's environments. We ran into a few bugs and some of the visual effects, explosions in particular, need work still. Then again, Arma 3 isn't due until the third quarter of 2013, so there's plenty of time for the kinks to be ironed out. That said, it was great to get a taste of what could be the future of digital warfare. The alpha includes not just the four scenarios, but multiplayer support, which we didn't get to experience, as well as a map editor. As fans know, there's nothing quite like Arma, and there's nothing about the Arma 3 alpha that should sour you on the future of the series. It's challenging, it's beautiful, and it is willing to give back only as much as you are willing to offer it. Mach 200 meters west. Engaging target. Down. Go, I'll cover. Covering fire. Contact on the ring line. Focus your fire. Cover me. Reloading. Request. Man, 200 meters west. Soldier. 200 meters west. Target eliminated. Down. Cover me. 